Welcome back to the caves, everybody. Welcome back to Deep Rock. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Combustive Goo Mix. This is Driller's new overclock for the Sludge Pump, which this one is a balanced overclock that makes it so whenever you light any of your puddles of goo on fire, instead of them just burning like they normally do, they actually explode and deal damage to everything around them. This works kind of both ways, where if you shoot something with your Sludge Pump, and then you light it on fire, it will explode. Or if the enemy is already on fire and then you shoot the sludge pump at him, it will also explode. Downsides to this though, is that burning enemies, once you do light them on fire with the goo and it explodes, will douse them so they are no longer on fire. And this also consumes more charge shot ammo than it otherwise would, going up to seven ammo consumed in total. And unless you take the tier four with spill back and then it can go down to six. This is the build that I'm gonna be running with my sludge pump. This is more set up for just regular tap fire shots, but if you want to use it for more AOE, that can actually work pretty well too, depending on how you want to use this. So I'm going to the bigger mag in tier one, more direct damage from regular shots in tier two, more ammo in tier three, a faster charge up for those charge shots in tier four, and then the acid in tier five to do a little bit more damage. Again, if you wanted to build this more for AOE, you might want to go with the AOEs in one and two and potentially the better consumption in tier four. Aside from that, the others are your choice. Now, a secondary weapon is pretty important for this since you need something to light this on fire. If you're sitting in a team, then you can have another driller with a flamethrower or anybody else with fire. But since we are just going in solo, we do need some way to ignite it. And for that, we're going to be taking heavy hitter EPC. And this is the way that I'm going to be building it. So this is just all built for damage, which is kind of normal for heavy hitter. With this, you can light your sludge on fire with just two shots from it, which is pretty nice. You do need to have it built for fire in tier five. Although you can take pretty much anything that you want with the EPC, so long as you take Burning Nightmare in tier five. And uh, this will give up the ability to EPC mine, but for lighting things on fire, this one is the way to go. If you build the uh, sludge pump like this, it only really works against the, the guards if you're gonna be killing them normally. Otherwise, the regular sludge pump damage is actually enough to kill them. So I typically just kind of use this for just single shots to kill stuff like that. And then for bigger enemies, a mix of shots like this. So we can kill them pretty fast. And you'd be pretty ammo efficient this way too. This overclock I think is actually quite strong for Driller. And it's on the sludge pump of all things, which is already pretty strong in my opinion. I've also heard that this does work against an omen tower, but I've never actually gotten to try it. Let's get destroyed by the omen tower, maybe. Oh, that's not good. Is it? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, okay, he's in the bottom. Yeah, I've heard this works on the omen tower. Yeah, it seems to. That was actually pretty good damage. Alright, well, let's try to open this up. Oh, it doesn't work because of the low gravity. <laughs> okay, well, at least I took care of that. So it does kind of work against the Omen Tower. I figured it might be something like uh, the Plascrete. Class Greed is uh, really strong against the Omen Tower because it has a much bigger explosion radius than what it looks like it does. This is still quite strong, but the Sludge Bump is already quite strong against it, so not too surprising there. And of course the Impact Axes. <laughs> hey, I even got some health back from that. I think that counts as living. So I can vampire the HP back. <laughs> Okay. Man, I already have all of the new overclocks from this, so I guess I just have to settle for getting something. Give me some Bismore! Also, it kind of sucks that we're stuck in the goo, too. Although, I guess everything else is, too, so it's fair. Oh, I got some Krapa. I was hoping Bismore. Okay, well, let's call these in. I'll load up my guns. I don't actually have guns right now. Well, Bosco, hey, there's something else here, buddy. There's something weird here, Bosco. Where? Didn't actually knock it out of there. Okay, it was buried deep, Bosco. Oh, that's spitballer. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Ah. Okay. So that doesn't seem to be 
killing that guy too fast. It's okay though. I'm out of axes. I'm out of pretty much everything. I used up everything on the Omen Tower. Alright, well. It's not a big deal. Because we have beer monies! And uh, weird cubes and stuff. Alright, I gotta. <laughs> I gotta deposit this stuff though, because we don't have enough nitro to call in a resupply. Got a resupply coming in. I can do that once and then one more shot. Alright. <laughs> and now I'm out of everything, so now we must fight with drills the way we were intended to fight. <laughs> sort of. I think this is the best overclock the driller got from this particular patch. At least for general purpose. Because the flamethrower is honestly really good for robo missions, since you can one-shot Nemesis with them. All right, let's begin. Some more explosions going. Oh. <laughs> we do have enough nitro for another resupply if we need it. Something's kind of nice. Oh, whoops. I want the max value out of that. <laughs> Okay, now we still got the resupply pod, and we still got a decent amount of resupplies, so it's all good. We got maybe. Yeah, the goo is slowing me down. Fix this one up, Bosco. I can't see that one. Actually, Bosco, you fix this one up, buddy. I'll do this one then. this pipeline up, and I was the only one that was broken. Okay. That's pretty cool. There's also more acid spitters around here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hit the grabber. There we go. Oh. I don't think that's gonna get anybody. Oh, is he just gonna die from fire? Oh, go on, expel. Oh. <laughs> he didn't explode. Alright, well, we're all slowed by the, the goo. Yeah. Luckily, we got. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised I'm hitting the axes. Usually with the uh, low gravity, I just end up whipping a bunch of axes, so it's not really the best. Last going to do this one. I will go for that one, I guess. Maybe. That would have been easier to ping Bosco since it's a further away. There we go. <laughs> that is very spectacular. And I am a fan of when overclocks get a... Uh, Silly and strange, and this is definitely a silly and strange overclock. It's a very strong one, though. That's like the best combination. If it's silly, strange, and it also does a lot of damage. Oh, the explosion from this also counts similar to the thermal shock, I believe, to where it just does uh, true damage. Or I guess it's similar to like um, the EPC. I, I believe that this does true damage. I think it's always set to the same amount of damage, regardless of like what type of armor that it hits. Oh, it's probably not going to be another break. Yeah, that's fine. I can... I can see for the tunnel. There we go. <laughs> Blow that one sky eye. Okay. Ah, there we go. Oh, 
Where? Okay. Let's go. It's also kind of nice to build up on my like, oppressors. Build up the fire and then... Well, I don't think I can hit it because of the low gravity. Alright, away we go! Another successful mission. Let's go back home and eat a sandwich. Made of that error cube that we found. <laughs> Alright, 238 kills, no deaths, 400 mined. Awesome! And I did get that error cube and a little bit of Jadits and crop.